planners and bullet journals, art journals, art projects, organized planner she. Well, hello, planner babes, and welcome to Organized Planner Chic. I'm Lucinda, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so and select the bell for notifications. Well, first, I want to thank all my Patreon members who help make it possible to create videos like this. Well, thank you guys so much, and if you're interested in supporting me on Patreon, just go to patreon.com slash organized planner chic. Okay, you guys, I'm going to be doing a flip through of my bullet journal for February and then showing you my setup for the month of March. I'm so excited about spring. Are you guys as excited as I am? I love the perfect spring weather here. I know that's not the case everywhere. Some places just kind of go from winter to summer so i think about you guys but there are still usually a lot of good things to look forward to in the spring all right so we're going to flip through february which starts on page 28 so let's go straight to that what are you guys looking forward to for spring is it do you think about the new seasons does it make you excited about anything in particular if so comment below either way whether you're like no it's just another season to me or yeah i look forward to this that and the other okay now this is what my february spread looked like for the title page you guys may have seen this if you saw my setup for the month of february really easy flower to draw or to doodle and i did share that in the video step by step so check that out if you haven't but yeah i think this was nice and simple but very colorful and this was my calendar for the month of february which is a very special month to me because it is my birthday month it's also the birthday month for my mother and my mother-in-law and one of my sisters-in-law and several of my friends it's so weird it's such a short month but it seems like it's just jam-packed plus you know there's valentine's day and president's day and all of that good stuff so yeah i used all of these stickers were from well some of the stickers were from dollar tree this one this was from a sticker book at dollar tree this was from a sticker sheet. This was a sticker sheet. And then these were from a sticker sheet as well. These little hearts. And then these were from, oh, I always forget, Shine Sticker Studio. I remembered, yay. And this is from Capital Chic Designs. And of course, I doodled the flowers and it was Dollar Tree washi tape. And then this was my things to do in the month of February, which I still have a few days left to finish a few things that I haven't marked yet. This is the second month that I have decided to pass the things that I wanted to do for Lucinda Worships, which is where I sing on social media, where I wanted to forward that to another month. So if that winds up happening in a third month, then I may need to just forget about worrying about that. I am on Instagram as Lucinda Worships. My plan was to sing regularly on there, but I haven't been singing as much. Um, but because I really wanted to plan out the songs and I just hadn't been able to work that out in my schedule the last couple of months. So my goal is to get back on track with that for sure in March. I do post there and on Facebook. I haven't done any of the YouTube and I think I'm just going to drop the YouTube part of it for a while because I just really don't have the time for it. But I do have time to sing on Instagram and Facebook because I can post on Instagram and share it on, on Facebook. I just need to get back to planning the songs. Okay, so yeah, I always have personal YouTube, Patreon, Facebook Organized Planner Chic, Facebook Phoenix Planner Friends for Christ, which are my Facebook groups, and then just general business things. And then these were Dollar Tree stickers and of course my doodles. And some of the highlighting things that you see are, um, gosh, can't think of any words today. Tombow dual brush pens, most of them, but some of them may be from, um, okay, I can't think of that word either. <laughs> when it comes across my mind, I'll put it across the screen, but it is another type of highlighter brush pen. 
Oh man, that brain just shuts down sometimes when I'm doing videos. I lose words. Okay, so this is what my first week in February spread looked like. This is a picture of the Valentine's Day greeting card I got from my husband, the picture there. And then this was from a picture that my brother texted me and then I printed the different pictures on just Walmart 490 what's well, Avery 499 um might be just four dollars even but I think it's 499 uh sticker sheets full full label eight and a half by eleven sticker sheets so I just put all of the pictures on one sheet enough for to fill the whole eight and a half by eleven and then I use them for stickers. So this is a picture of a backpack that I posted on Instagram that I got at a thrift store when I went out of town to visit my daughter. It was regularly priced at sixty two dollars I think sixty two or sixty four dollars and I got it for nineteen ninety nine which is awesome. This is a picture of my hubby uh, me with my hubby on Valentine's Day and there's my little flower dollar tree stickers right here dollar tree stickers these are stickers i created some time ago dollar tree dollar tree dollar tree these are stickers i created and i always put the week number for each week you guys to keep track with that and these are pictures of when i was with my daughter and um to visit her out of state and then this is the picture of the card my husband gave me for Valentine's Day. And then I, you know, have the different weather and weight and um, kind of stuff there that I usually track. And then this is the next week. And for this week, I this was a sticker that I found from Unsplash, which is a free site, a free app where you can use pictures for whatever you want all of them are royalty free that's my princess we were taking a picture outside when i went to visit her another sticker i created i created i created i created i created uh, i created i created i created i created i created and then dollar tree right here uh, shine sticker studio what else Dollar Tree. These are all Dollar Tree. This was from Capital Chic Designs. Capital Chic Designs and Dollar Tree. Yeah, and this was from Recollections. Yeah, so that was week. Where did I put the week number on this one? I don't see where I actually wrote the week on this one. I guess I didn't. That's so weird. I thought I did for every single week. But I didn't. Man. Oh, there I did. It's right here. Week six. Okay, it's just tiny. <laughs> okay, and then this is the next week, which I was sick a few days, and I'm still not feeling the, the greatest, but I am functioning. So the this one and 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 this one were all stickers from Dollar Tree. And you see I put the weather and weight and yoga and all that in a different place here. And then this is Dollar Tree as well. This I created. I created, I created, I created. And I created. And I created and I created and I think all of the rest yes are Dollar Tree. Aren't they cute stickers? They're either from sticker book from Dollar Tree or from a sticker sheet. Most of them are from a sticker book. They're so cute. So this was week seven. It was my birthday week. I had a really great day after feeling really bad before that. And so I just wrote in Spanish, estoy enferma, which means I am sick. I was sick those days, y'all, but it's a really pretty spread. <laughs> Dollar, no, this is uh, Walmart, what do you call it, washi tape. That came in a set of like six for like a dollar eighty-eight or two eighty-eight, yeah. And then this is the current week, which is week eight, and that's my doodle. And I just doodled everything as far as like the dates and the check marks. You know, I doodled these hearts, 
all of that stuff and this week I started putting down again what scriptures I'm reading because normally I used to do that all the time whatever I was reading and studying that day but I kind of got away from writing it down so I'm reading the Bible again in chronological order this time um, the complete Bible I've read the complete Bible before it always took me more than a year like three years because I'd be studying throughout but this year I'm doing it chronologically just reading and only when I'm really pressed am I looking up something that really disturbs me to get an interpretation a better in-depth interpretation um, based on the original Greek uh, Hebrew or Aramaic and so yeah so here's my setup for the current week and we'll be looking at well no guess we probably won't be looking at this the next video so i'll tell you this is dollar tree dollar tree dollar tree actually anything that's a sticker which is just those few things these right here these and this that's it our dollar tree all right and then this is the month of march my setup for march you guys i really enjoy doodling this i just took my tombow dual brush markers or dual brush pens and i wrote march in a green color and then i used a blue color to color around it now i did this march in the black tombow and not the black sorry i did it in the green and then i outlined it in the black but i felt like it didn't stand out enough so then i used my uniball signo in the broad size i don't remember the exact size of that but it's a broad one to go over it with white and it worked out really really well i, I went over it twice so that it would really stand out and then i used my tombow mono drawing pins to draw the flowers and Tombow dual brush pens to color them in and yeah and I drew just a broader I think it was a 05 Tombow mono to for this little piece right here and I think it turned out nicely all right and then here is my March calendar and I just wrote March there and Marso which is how you say March in Spanish I didn't give myself enough room to write the other days in Spanish but you can see here and I did this in February too um, in January I marked the week number for the 52 weeks of the year through to the current month throughout the current month now these are really cool these little plants these cacti they are actually rub-on transfers from dollar tree which i am so super impressed with man i'm going to be buying more of those when i see them at dollar tree i used to really stay away from them i don't know why i just i don't know i just didn't have an interest but they have such really cute ones and so i use them this time and they are perfect oh my goodness i love how they look just look at that it looks like it's printed on the paper but it's not yeah so then i just put all of my recurring stuff on here and a couple a few key things like when my parents are coming to visit so that i make sure that i plan my videos ahead and then they're having free shredding at our church which is so awesome i am amazingly excited about that because i have a bunch of stuff that still needs to be shredded and that will knock it out and then i'm doing a planner meetup for phoenix planner friends for christ on the 27th yeah and this is uh, all walmart uh washi on here and i just colored in between here with the green tombow mono and all of the coloring in here is with Tombow or highlighting is with the Tombow Mono. I mean, sorry, not Tombow Mono, Tombow Dual Brush Pen. And yeah, and but I used my oh, Pigma Micron to do all of the lines and to write all the words and stuff for everything throughout. Okay, and then this is my things to do in March. So all Tombow dual brush pen, of course the Pigma Micron to write everything, highlighting with the Tombow dual brush pen. And then these are all, well these three are all rub-on transfers. Look at that, aren't they so pretty? And then these are Dollar Tree stickers, the ones that have the mounting tape in between two layers to kind of make it 3D. And I cut out the mounting tape and just used a glue stick to put it back on where it still has texture and layers but it's not too thick it still is a little challenging to write over you know on the other pages because it kind of bumps up a little bit so i just try to be careful and move a little slow 
but it looks so pretty and then these have texture as well which are nice and they also I have to think about that when I write on the other side but these are also all of these are from Dollar Tree and so I put my headings as before but on Lucinda Worships I only put Instagram and Facebook right there yeah and then this is the first week I just did my main templates I didn't do any doodling or anything I've got each day of the week and the calendar day on each side and then I've got my little box for the high and low temperatures to doodle sunny cloudy rainy etc my weight and yoga and then I put a place for according to the chronological Bible reading what I should be reading on those days and then that is it for my setup for March and my flip through of February. Well, thank you guys so much. Uh, if you haven't checked it out yet, be sure and check out the video where I made this traveler's notebook or any type of planner because this is a, this, gosh, I can't talk today. <laughs> Because this bullet journal that I'm using is a Hobonichi plain notebook. So this cover is holding my Hobonichi plain notebook. It also holds traveler's notebook inserts. As you can see, this is held around some elastic. And then there's all the other elastic. This is tucked in a pocket. It also holds a, um, what do you call it? A ring binder. Um, it's not really a ring binder. It's a wired ring um, binder. So it's not the disc kind, but I think it would have to be a little bit bigger for the disc kind, but it's the, the wire uh, binder where you can rip out the pages. And so I've used this for all those different types of things. And I made this in a previous video for my spring series so be sure and check it out i love it thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and comment and share it really helps my channel a lot also as i've mentioned i have two facebook groups the one for anyone around the world is called organized planner chic crew and there we do giveaways and in fact we have a giveaway going on right now so be sure check it out before that runs out we also try to stay in touch just about every day with all different types of posts and then the other group is called phoenix planner friends for christ and we meet normally in person once a month we hadn't been for a while because of covid but we are starting that back up we have one scheduled now i'm so excited about that so if you live in the phoenix metro be sure and check us out there and then if you are interested in supporting me on patreon Patreon, just go to patreon.com slash organized planner chic. And until next time, everyone, happy planning.